Hello, and welcome to the Triumphant Church of God Durham broadcast. We are so happy that you've taken the time to join us today, and we pray that you will be blessed by today's service. God is moving in a dynamic way, and we are so excited to hear what our pastor is going to share with us. So I will see you in the sanctuary. May God bless you. Have a wonderful day. Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the Triumphant Church of God in Durham. We're so glad you took time out today to be with us. And we are elated to let you know that you are in the right place of worship. God bless you. This morning, we are focusing uh, our, our time of worship and our time of praise on having wisdom, having wisdom. And it's our heart's cry on a daily basis, Lord, give me wisdom. In everything we do and say, we need God's wisdom. As you tune in today, May God continue to bless you as we close out this month of February already. We just want to let you know that wisdom is the principal thing. And may God bless you today as you worship with us.
the air that we breathe. Yes, Lord. Yes, God. Your holy presence you, is what Jesus. we take Thank in. You, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Your holy presence is what we ask for. Come now, Holy Spirit. The breath we take, every breath we take yes, Lord. Yes, to return to eternity. Well, bless you, Lord. Bless someone this morning, yes, Lord Jesus. Lord. Bless the viewers this morning, Lord Jesus. Those who will be watching us down the road, bless them, Lord. Bless them, Lord. Bless them, Lord. Bless them, Lord. Holy Spirit, bless them. Yes, Lord. This is the air we breathe, Lord.
yet again to the triumphant Church of God. We thank God for everything that God has done for us in this month of February. Uh, and as we close out this month of February, I want to remind you that we started off this month, actually this year, with uh, a, a feature about building. And as we started off the year with building, 
we moved and we transitioned into a season of asking God to help us. And even in this month of February, we started this month of February and we continued it on with asking God to remind us of our heritage. And then last week, thanks be to God, we were on the subject of increase versus decrease. And we're going to uh, continue on into March, God's willing, on in the same uh, line of increase. But today we're looking at wisdom. Today we want to uh, just cry out to God and say, God, give me wisdom. As we go to the Word of God, as we've been blessed with the worship already, as we go to the Word of God, let us remember when wisdom today. God bless you. Father, we thank you, even at this hour, that we ask you for wisdom. We thank you for everything that you have provided us thus far. We are here this day only because of you. And we need your wisdom to guide us in every circumstance that we face. Bless us this day. Bless the word to our hearts today. Let it be transformational. Let it be life changing. Let it save somebody's lost soul that tunes in today or whenever they're tuning in. And we'll be careful to say thank you in Jesus name, amen. God bless you all uh, on this Sunday morning. We are so happy to know that you took time out even to view just for a few moments. Our uh, scripture this morning as we go to the word of God is found in the book of Proverbs. As I said at the beginning, we are touching on wisdom and we are asking God, Lord, I need wisdom. Lord, I need wisdom. Every single one of us need wisdom. And it's my cry, as I said, God, what should I share on this Sunday? God just placed the word in my heart, wisdom, wisdom, wisdom. And so we are here this morning and we're crying out to God for wisdom. So we're going to go to the book of Proverbs and in the book of Proverbs, we're going to go to the fourth uh, chapter of Proverbs and the seventh verse in particular. The Bible reads as follows. Wisdom is the principal thing. Therefore, get wisdom. Isn't that wonderful? And while you're at it, the Bible says, and with all thy getting, get understanding to join it. Let me read that scripture again real quickly for you this morning. Wisdom is the principal thing. Therefore, get wisdom. And with all thy getting, get understanding. Saints of God, if you are sitting there and you are wondering where and what must I say, where must I go, you know, I, I dare you this morning to say, Lord, I need wisdom. How many times have we uh, looked at ourselves and we have seen things and we, we, we misjudged things and we make decisions without wisdom, without the facts of the whole situation and we jump and we make a decision on things without using wisdom. We react in certain ways without using wisdom. We, 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 con we, we, we contact people, we talk to people without using wisdom. But this morning, I want us to cry out to God and say, Lord, I need wisdom. Have you ever been in a circumstance and after you've come out of the circumstance, you say to yourself, I wish I had used more wisdom. I wish I had sought God for wisdom. I wish I had gone to the right sources for wisdom. That is my desire. This morning, we must seek God 
for the increase in our wisdom. And this morning, it is so important that we ask God for more wisdom uh, because we need it, saints of God. We need it because it could be detrimental uh, if we don't have it. We make decisions without wisdom and it causes us to falter along the way. The story comes to my mind this morning of uh, the king who was set to take on the, the responsibility of king. And the question was asked, what do you want? What do you want? And he could have asked for anything in that day and age. He could have asked for the riches. He could have asked. The prophet said, what do you want as you step into your new role as king? What do you want? And wisdom spoke loudly. Wisdom spoke loudly. And I could hear him say, Lord, I need wisdom. How could I hear him say that? Because he said to the prophet, just grant me wisdom that I would be able to lead these people. He didn't say, oh, give me a throne of all gold. Uh, provide me with servants so 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 no he said give me wisdom that I may be able to guide these individuals and God was well pleased with that with that request not only did God give him wisdom but God also provided him with all the riches that you could ever imagine. But his heart was in the right place. He asked for wisdom. He asked for wisdom, and that's what God gave him. But let us look a little further here. Not only did he ask for wisdom, and God gave it to him, but he was tested right away at the beginning of his reign. How many know the story this morning? And as he was tested, it came in front of him, the, the two mothers with the one baby. One mother, is, as you know the story, most of us uh, had slept on her baby and her baby had passed. The other mother had the baby and it, they, they, the other mother said, oh, no, that's my baby. And the king was set to make a decision. It was brought in front of him. And if he did not have the wisdom from God, he would have made the wrong decision. But what did he do? God granted him wisdom to be able to, to make a decision, to make a, a, a wise decision to say, this baby belongs to that woman and not you. When he made the call and he said, oh, uh, okay, here's how we're going to deal with it. We're going to cut the baby in half. We'll give half to one, and we'll give half to the other. Someone would say, that's foolishness. No, it was wise. Because the moment the mother of the, the, the child that was alive spoke up and said, no, give the child to her then. If you're going to cut the baby in half, give the child to her. What does that mean? It meant that she was saying, that rather than the child die, being cut in half, let, let the woman that does not, is not the mother of the child have the child so that the child would live. The king sat there and in, his, in his throne and he said, okay, so the mother of the child is the one that said, give it to the other lady. That is wisdom crying out in a big way. Can you imagine? If King Solomon did not have wisdom and he did not make the right decision and said, oh, give it to the, give it to the, no, but God moved in a wonderful way and the mother received her child. Wisdom, speaking expressly, Lord, I need wisdom. Lord, I need wisdom. Even to open my mouth. When is the appropriate time? Lord, I need wisdom. Even to speak what I need to speak. Lord, I need wisdom. Even to deal with circumstances that are beyond my control. 
wisdom, God. Lord, I need wisdom on my job. Lord, I need wisdom at home. Lord, I need wisdom in the church. Lord, I need wisdom on the road. There's so many examples that I could give you this morning, but I thank God. Our cry needs to be, Lord, I need wisdom. We do things without wisdom and then suffer the circumstance, the consequence of our decision. Decisions that are made without wisdom are decisions sadly made. The consequences are hurtful. And the book of Proverbs says, wisdom is the principal thing. What does that mean this morning? That means it is the first thing. Look, I gave you the story. Solomon the king asked for wisdom first and foremost. He didn't ask for something else, but he asked for wisdom first. That's why the word of God says, wisdom is the principal thing. It's the first thing that we must ask for. And then the Bible goes on to say, uh, therefore, get that wisdom. Because it's the most important thing, the principle of the matter. Go ahead and grab wisdom. Because it will, if you have wisdom, if you have wisdom, you can get so far. And the, but the Bible says in Proverbs 4 verse 7, if you have wisdom, let me say this to us this morning, then alongside wisdom will show itself understanding. He said while you're getting wisdom, grab, grab a little understanding with it because the two of them mixed together gives you an amazing result. This morning, before we address situations, before we do certain things, my heart's cry to all of us this morning, before we address that family issue, say, God, Lord, I need wisdom. Before we address that person at work, go in the, go in the washroom and say, Lord, I need wisdom. Before we, we speak to our husband and our wife about something, Lord, I need wisdom. Saints of God, many catastrophes are avoided when we ask God for his wisdom. And because of many, uh, uh, many lack in wisdom, uh, the damaging result happens. But this morning, as God laid it on my heart, Lord, I need wisdom. Cry out to God. Cry out to God and say, Lord, give me wisdom. I need it from the bottom of my heart. I need wisdom. That's my heart's cry this morning. And may you find it in your heart to also ask God, God, where I have fallen short, give me wisdom. Not to repeat my sin, not to repeat my, my fall into the ditch again. Lord, I need wisdom. Lord, I need wisdom how to deal with people. Lord, I need wisdom uh, even, even on my job. Lord, I need wisdom. And you know the thing about it as I wrap up this morning, God always is willing to give it to you. So whatever you're struggling with today, whatever you're fighting against today, turn your eyes up to heaven and say, Lord, I need wisdom. Lord, as I close out February, I need wisdom. Lord, as I face different circumstances, legal matters, I need your wisdom. Because you are the only one that can see me through. This morning, be encouraged. Ask God for the wisdom that only he can provide. You could, you could, you could talk to the wisest person on earth, and they will tell you the same. Wisdom is the principal thing. So get it, grab a hold of it, and maintain it. God bless you this morning. May this word be an encouragement to you. And for anyone who is not saved, as we close out February, I want to encourage you. Give your heart to the Lord. There's so many benefits when you give your heart to the Lord. God is just waiting to extend them to you. And wisdom is one of them. God bless you today. In Jesus' name. Hello. 
I hope you enjoyed today's service. The message was on point and impactful. I enjoyed it myself. Would like to give you the opportunity to support the ministry for those of you out there that would love to support um, what we do and what God is doing in our lives. One of the ways to support the ministry is through our YouTube page by going to the About section and clicking on Tithes and Offering. Another way that you can support is by mailing a check to P.O. Box 41001 and P.O. Pickering, Ontario L1V0G3 Or you can also support by sending an e-transfer to TTCOG Durham at gmail.com All this information will be on the screen. Thank you for worshipping with us. We hope to see you next week. God bless you. Hello everyone. God bless you. This is Pastor Coleman coming back to you at this time. I just want to say thank you to each and every one of you who have consistently, consistently um, been a support to our morning devotions, 6 a.m. every morning. It has been such a blessing. Um, you have been there as our dear Sister Coleman has shared the word every single morning. And I just wanna encourage you to come again. Uh, invite somebody else to come again and be a part of our 6 a.m. morning devotion. It is Monday to Monday. Sunday to Sunday, if I, if I put it that way, uh, every morning at 6 a.m. I just wanted to remind you of it, that you would come on and be a part of it. Also want to bring to your attention uh, as well, our Tuesday and Thursday night um, prayer sessions. They have been so powerful. And I wanna say again, thank you for each and every one of you who have uh, been such a support and a strength. Healing and deliverance has happened on the line. Lives have been changed. Tuesday and Thursday nights. I want to encourage you to join us and invite someone as well. Come at 7.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time and join us to hear the word and to be prayed for your special prayer request. And come and join us and be a part of this great, great move of God. Finally, I want to remind you as well to join us on Wednesday nights. We have a program called Wednesday Wisdom. What an exciting program where we study the word together. Wednesday Wisdom. It's every Wednesday at 8 p.m. We want you to be a part of everything that God is allowing the Triumphant Church of God in Durham to do with excellence. We want to make sure that none of you are left out. So we want to once again remind you that these are the programs that are happening throughout our week. And we endeavor to see you out. Join us as we serve God together, as we encourage one another together, as we lift the banner high and it's his banner. God bless you once again. This is Pastor Coleman on behalf of Sister Coleman and myself and the Triumphant Church of God in Durham. We want to say thank you. God bless you. Hi, and thank you for joining us today. We pray you're blessed by today's service and hope to see you again soon. Please subscribe for a notification for our future broadcasts. May God bless you until next week. I need you now More than anything or anyone So don't you forsake me Jesus, I need you I need you now More than anything or anyone Life's threatening to take me I know you see that I'm failing Please help me, I'm fading Fading to try without your mercy and your love I know I would die give me something to you cause I'm open and waiting for your return hear my cry oh lord and 
that sense in my breath. Are you listening? Can you hear me? Are you out there? Oh, Jesus, I need you. I need you now. More than anything or anyone. Don't you forsake me. Jesus, I need you. I need you now. More than anything or anyone. I've said it. I'm a foot not to be moved, no slide. See so many soldiers far by the wayside. Me no wonder with them and me want life. See if it plays up this from me want hide. Me no want Satan and me want Christ. Your will be done. I know my choice, but them me your words. I know my voice. I beg you hear my humble cry. Jesus, I need you. I need you now. More than anything or anyone. So don't you forsake. See that I'm failing. Please help me, I'm fading, fading away from your love. Send your grace, I need another chance to try. Without your mercy and your love, I know I won't die. Keep me open to your love. Cause I'm open anyway. Anything or anyone that's learning to take me. 